Greetings. So this video is a response to the requests I received to cover the helmets MRE for Altspace VR so that you can make wearables from your 3D objects. So I'm going to cover um, the steps from beginning to end, starting with Unity. But if you already understand how to use Unity and use the Altspace VR uploader, then you can skip ahead to the point in the video where I begin um, specifically covering the Helmets MRE. I'll put the timestamp that you can click and skip to that point in the video. I'll put that timestamp in the uh, description. So let's get started. So first of all, Unity is a gaming engine and it is required in order for us to move objects from our computer onto the Altspace VR platform. And so for most of us, it's a free um, it's a free program to use. But there are cases where you'll have to pay for it. That's going to be if you're like a team or like a, uh, a company that is monetizing the use of um, Unity. I think you have to make over like $100,000 a year off of it and then you have to upgrade to a paid plan. Um, but for mo most of us that aren't making <laughs> that kind of money, we get to use it for free. So you do that by going to unity.com slash download and you can download for Windows. And you'll want to make sure that you have the most recent version installed. Um, if you just go here to the website and download it, you'll be downloading the most recent version. There's a version for Windows, there's a version for Mac, and also, if you're on Linux, there's instructions down here for you to um, get it installed on your Linux machine. Once you have Unity installed on your computer, the unit, once you have the Unity Hub installed on your computer, the next step is installing the Altspace VR uploader now. The best way to do that is starting off at the official Microsoft introducing the Altspace VR uploader page. Because on this page, if they change anything, I'm pretty sure they're gonna update it on this page. Now this page, this article was last updated March the 1st of this year, 2022. And so the version as of that date um, that the the version of the Altspace VR uploader that that is compatible with the Unity Hub at, um, at, at this time is version 2020.3.18 F1. And this is really important because if you don't have the right Unity version installed in your Unity Hub, it won't work. <laughs> so basically the easiest way to do this is you basically just open this page up. I'm going to open it up in a new tab because I'm going to come back to this tab. But basically you open this up and you can, as, once you have Unity installed, I'll just put this right here so you can see it. All you have to do is click this button and you'll see it opens up Unity automatically. And you can see that I already have it installed, okay? But if you don't have it, in, but, but for you, it's going to be a prompt that's going to have all of the different packages that you can select. And you're going to want to make sure that you select these three options. And that's Android build support, Mac build support, and Windows build support. Those three are really important because when you upload your templates and you upload your uh, kits, they are going to have a uh, their their plat platform specific versions that are going to show. Here's an example. So here's an example. So you see how I've got these tester shirts here. And you see how I've got uh, ready a green check mark for all platforms. So there's a PC, there's an Android, and there's a Mac version. Okay. So you'll want to make sure that you include these. You have to check these boxes while you're 
while you're installing and you will have that option when you click this button and it opens up your Unity Hub, you will get this option. Now, once you've got this uh, going, once you've got it installed, you're going to need to create a new project. So I'll go ahead and create project. Now, here on the instructions, you know that you'll notice that they've got selected universal render pipeline. But this is what it actually looks like. So, yeah, that that option, it doesn't look like this anymore. It looks like this. Um, and so you'll just want to make sure you select 3D Sample Scene URP. Give it a name. So I'm going to name this uh, OK. And then I'll put it in here and create project. So once you click that create project, it's going to begin to construct a Unity environment for you. And once that's constructed, we'll begin putting our, um, our add-ons in here, the Altspace VR uploader. And then I'm also going to add Sketchfab. Okay, so here we go. We, have, we now have our Unity environment um, created. OK, now when it comes to me, the first thing I like to do is a little bit of cleanup. So, for example, I'll come here under scenes and I'll create a scene. So I'm just going to name this scene Helmets MRE Tutorial. Double click on that scene so that it loads that scene here in the, in the uh, environment. And then I'm just going to delete these two. You don't need these. And I like to also delete the, uh, like pretty much everything I don't need, but you know, maybe you'll need this stuff, but I delete the example assets and the tutorial info. I just don't like, like extra stuff. Also the readme, get rid of that readme also. I just don't like extra stuff in here, it gets in my way. The next thing we'll do is go to step four and download the latest Unity uploader. Just click this. Put it somewhere where you can access it on your computer and then and then go back to your unity click window package manager then hit the little arrow next to the plus sign add package from tarball navigate to the package you downloaded okay and click open. Just give it a few moments and it will automatically install itself. And you will have, you will notice up here in your toolbar, the option will come available or the menu item will come available for Altspace VR. And here we go. It just popped up. And we'll just let this finish. Now that it's done, you can see we've got Altspace VR Uploader 2.2.29 installed. We just close this out. That allows us to upload to Altspace, but we also need to be able to get the model into Unity. Now, me personally, I like, because I use Sketchfab, because I have a Sketchfab and I like uploading my models to Sketchfab, I use the Sketchfab importer because we have to, in order to get our model into Altspace VR, it has to be compatible. And so you can, like an FBX file format is automatically compatible. But um, in this case, we're going to be using GLB. And since GLB is not automatically compatible with Altspace VR, we're going to have to use a upload, I mean, an importer. Now, I use the Sketchfab importer but there's other importers available. Now, the Sketchfab importer can be found on sketchfab.com slash importers.
and you come down to where it says game engines and you get the unity editor version you just click that download it by clicking this unity package right here this is going to be the one you want open your unity back up right click anywhere inside of the little blank area and select import package then navigate to the file your sketchfab file and click open and then click import and that's going to do all of the the importing of everything that unity needs in order to install that that importer and you'll notice that we get the sketchfab um, the sketchfab um, menu item so now that we've got sketchfab and we've got alt space we can we can now uh, begin the process of uploading the kit so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come to alt space vr and i'm going to make a custom a custom kit by going to more kits and then we're going to create and i'm going to name this kit helmets MRE tutorial. Uh, I'm not going to give it a picture, but you can give it a picture. Actually, I'll give it a picture. Let's, uh, I'll just give it this picture. Here, my shirt's picture. Create kit. All right. So here we go. We've got our kit named Helmets MRE Tutorial. Ready? No. PC? No. Android? No. Mac? No. Nothing is in here yet. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and step one, I'm going to bring the uh, one of my shirts in that is a GLB. I'm going to bring that into Unity. So we're going to go ahead and click Sketchfab, import GLTF. And then I'm gonna select the file that I want and I'm just gonna drag it over here. And you'll notice how it populates that um, source file path. Now, the um, over here, I'm going to go ahead and just make a spot for um, for um, uh, the imported asset to go. So here under under assets, I'm just going to make a new folder. All right. And I'm just going to name it shirts. I like to use a number like if I, I wanted to go to the top. So I'm just going to say zero point shirts. Right. That brings the folder up to the top. It's just my little way of staying organized inside of the shirts. So I'm going to make another folder and I'm going to call it the name of the shirt, because when we import this GLB, all of the materials, the textures, you know, the actual model, all of that, all of those files are going to be inside this folder. So I'm going to name this one white with blue AI because that's what shirt this is. So now we're going to change this destination and we have to navigate to the folder that this is in. And so we're going to go to, and the name of this is Helmets MRE tutorial. And it's inside of assets. We created the folder called shirts. And here it is right here, white with blue AI, select folder. Now we're going to name the prefab. So I'll name it white blue AI and hit the import button. Once we do that, we get the prompt import successful model has been successfully imported. Click OK. And you see we've got materials, meshes, textures, and we've got this um, 3D model, this cube with the cube icon. And if you look over in our inspector, you see it's like a pink color. And that's because the textures are not 
compatible with uh, URP as a default. URP is the universal render pipeline. And that's what's required for Altspace VR. And so the first step that we have to do in order to resolve this error, this um, incompatibility, is we go under Edit, Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, and then we select Upgrade Project Materials to Universal P Materials. And when we click that, we get the prompt for the upgrader, and we just go ahead and say Proceed. And now you'll notice how it's no longer pink. And we can drag it, we can drag it up like this. I guess I, I accidentally selected, this is, oh, I selected black. <laughs> I meant to do the, uh, yeah. So anyway, it's okay. We'll just use this one. Now, um, I like to bring the position to zero. Okay. If we double click, we can zoom in on it. But this is the shirt that we've got right now. All right. So now, right now, this shirt is at a scale of one. Um, if you're using one of the shirts from my tutorials, um, you can leave it at this scale of one. And then also, all of the settings that we use in the Helmets MRE will be the same as what you see me use inside of this tutorial. But the first thing that we're going to do now that we've got this shirt right here and its position is at zero and its scale is at one, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and upload it into Altspace. So let's go ahead and hit the Altspace VR menu item and then select Kits. So you notice we've got kits and templates. We'll cover templates in a future video. Kits, the next thing we'll do is sign in. I'm going to sign in off screen. And here it comes. Okay, here we go. So now, once this is signed in, you'll have your kits and you have um, the option to hit the drop down to select the kit. The kit that we just created is called Helmets MRE Tutorial. So I'll go ahead and select that kit. I'm also going to go ahead and under the kit options, I'm going to tick the box to upload kit thumbnails and tick the box to generate kit thumbnails. And you can see that build for platforms, Windows, Android and Mac are already selected. So there is nothing we have to do there. But if you only wanted this to be available for one of these platforms or two of these platforms, you could uncheck the ones that you don't want it to be available for. The next thing that we have to do is over here in our hierarchy, we select the object that we want to bring in. In this case, it's our shirt. Sorry, I didn't mean to click that. Let's scoot this over here. And then we must click the convert game objects to kit prefab. After we click that, we get the pop up for the kit prefab formatter, and we have to hit the drop down and select our kit again. So we're going to select the Helmets MRE tutorial and then hit Save Prefab. You'll notice that once we do that, the first of all, the object is no longer here in our scene. It's now inside of the kit. You can see it right here. If you had multiple objects, you would just add them. Just keep doing that same process over and over again. In fact, let me go ahead and add one more shirt just to uh, show how to do that. So here we are, we've got this open. And I'm just gonna choose this one. And let's change this destination. Select, I'll just name this. Port. Notice we, we get the uh, folder here now. Select this. Notice how it's pink. 
Let's update the render pipeline. Now it's updated. There we go. Here's the shirt that I was thinking about. Zero, zero, zero. Here we go. So now we select this shirt, convert game objects, select the kit, and voila. So now we have two shirts in here now. So the next thing, we just build and upload. And that's going to do its, its upload. It's going to compile and create a version for each one of these platforms and upload them into the Altspace VR kit. OK, so now it's complete. We can tell it's complete because the kit options are now unchecked again. So that starts over every time it's finished. But we can also tell it's complete because it says so right down here at the bottom, build and upload operation complete. And it took us one minute and 53 seconds. So now that that's done, let's refresh our helmets MRE tutorial kit. So we're gonna go from everything being red, refresh, now it's all green. So when you see these green checks that let you know everything went perfect. We can even see the dates um, or the time ago, like how long ago. And we see a little snapshot of the object. And we have this artifact ID. Now this is gonna be really, really important. So now that we have our kit, let's move on to the Helmets MRE tutorial. Okay, so when it comes to this Helmets MRE tutorial, it can really look intimidating to like a, a person that has no experience with coding or anything like that. So I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible by focusing on the by only focusing on the the things that are important for you to make your wearable. If you have any questions, just ask ask them. So basically, let's uh, let's begin. The first thing we have to do in order to make our wearable is that we have to create a content pack. And so we do that by going to more and then going to content packs. I'm going to open this up in a new tab because we're going to still need our um, kit page so that we can get our artifact ID. So for now, we're going to go ahead and create a new content pack. I'm going to name it Helmets MRE Tutorial. And we're going to skip past these uh, points. You can give it a description just so that you remember what this uh, content pack is for. All right. Now, for the content, we're going to come back over here and take a look at the Helmets MRE tutorial. And we start off with defining the actual um, object. So if you take a look at the content pack example, we've got a couple of different points to pay attention to. So first of all, curly brackets. The curly brackets define beginning and end points. Okay, so you'll notice that we start off with two curly brackets that are basically encapsulating everything else. We've got one that's on the top that's pointing um, to the right, one that's on the bottom that's pointing to the left. And basically, that is the same thing as what we have here. If I hit the drop down, you'll see how they separate with one open and one close. That's really important. You have to keep this same type of structure. So you're going to have an open and a close. Everything inside of your content, content pack is defined within those two curly brackets. And each one of your objects in a content pack starts with a name that is encapsulated with curly uh, with double quotes and then have a curly bracket that opens and closes. 
If you have more than one object inside your content pack, the next object has to have a comma that's separating it from the previous one. So that's what lets the uh, the engine know where to stop processing one and start processing the next one. Once you get to the last one, you don't put a comma. So you'll notice here in our example, female coat does not have a comma after. And so since we only have two shirts in our um, example, our content pack is going to have two of them. So I'm going to go ahead, let's just go ahead and copy this entire thing, this entire block of code, and let's just paste it inside of a notepad. You can use whatever code editor that you want, um, but I'm just gonna use notepad for the sake of being simple. And I'm just gonna open this up on the left and on the right, like this. So starting off, we've got our open curly bracket, which is the equivalent of this one, and our closed curly bracket, which is the equivalent of this one, which means that all of our actual um, object information goes in between them. And so the, the, um, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to define our shirts. And so I'm going to get rid of one of these. So we can just drop that just like that. And we're going to rename this from businessman. I'll just rename it to black shirt. You don't want to have any spaces in this. And um, so if you're going to have multiple words, use a, a hyphen or an underscore. And um, also don't have any special characters in here. You'll break it. Um, so no, apost no apostrophes, quotes, um, any of that stuff. You have to keep the quotes that are um, encapsulating the word, but you don't want to put any quotes or any hyphens or any uh, parentheses or dollar sign, any of that type of stuff. You don't want to put any of that stuff in here because you'll, it'll, it, it may break it. Um, so we have the black shirt and then we're going to have the white shirt. Okay. So now we have the resource ID and the resource ID is the artifact ID. You'll find your artifact ID on your kit right here next to it and you can click copy to clipboard and we're just going to replace this artifact ID that's in here with the one that we just copied for the black shirt. We're going to copy this one for the white shirt. We'll get rid of the artifact ID that's already in there and paste in the one from our white shirt. Now, we can pass parameters in with each one of these. Um, and the parameters that we can pass are as follows. So we can pass all of the transform options, which are position, rotation, scale. And we can also pass menu position, menu rotation, and menu scale. And so, Let's focus on the, um, the transform for the object. For, um, so I'm going to just go ahead and copy. So you, first of all, you'll notice how since it ends here and starts another one, it starts with a, a, uh, with a, with a comma. And we're just going to copy all of this all the way down to here. And I'm not going to do the menu position, even though you, you could, but Let's just focus on only the object transform options. So I'm just going to hit control V in order to paste in. And so now you'll notice how we've got a comma and then we've got all of position, which has a comma at the end, rotation, which has a comma at the end and scale, which does not have a comma at the end because it's the end. It's the last one. It's the last parameter. Now, since you're working with, um, since you're working with, um, if, if you're working with, with, with shirts from uh, tutorials I've created, then the scale that you'll want to set at is going to be 0.6. So I'll just change all of these to 0.6. 
But if you're going to be working with a different object, then you're going to have to do your own testing in order to find what the perfect value for this is. So that's for, excuse me, I meant to make that for scale. I need to put that here. Because scale is at the, at the bottom in this one. For position, we're going to use zero. And then for Y, it's going to be 0 0.1. And for rotation, it's going to be 180 for Y and 0 for the others, for X and Z. Okay. And we're going to use these exact same for the black shirt because both of them are the same model. So here we have it. Okay. Another thing is that, so after we do, we, we, we actually need one more. After scale, we're going to do the uh, attach point. Actually, after resource ID, let's do the attach point right after that. And we're going to put a comma. And I'll just go ahead and copy this like this and put that here. So the attach point, since we're working with a shirt, the attach point is going to be spine middle. That's the one I've chosen for this. Um, you can see all of the different attach points by clicking this link right here. It will open up your attach points and you've got all of these different options here. Head, neck, hips, center eye, spine top, spine middle, etc. And that and what you choose for your attach point will have everything to do with the position that you set. And so when it comes to this shirt, based on the size it is and based on the attach point spine middle, I have to scoot it down. Um, so the negative indicates that it's going to go down. Um, positive would push it up but the negative is going to scoot it down 0.1, okay? And um, so we can take this, we can take this code here, and we can now put that inside of our content pack. And so we can, we can either, you can either just copy this like this and leave those right there or you can copy the whole thing I'll just cut it out of there select all drop it and paste yours in here if there's any errors the errors will show and you'll have to resolve them and once you have all of this in here you hit create content pack once your content pack is created you will have this URL and this ID right here and the way that the Helmets MRE works is that, first of all, you copy this URL right here all the way to where it says content pack equals. And I'll just paste this in here because the next point is to get our content pack ID and we just paste that right here okay so now we have our full content pack URL so over here I am in alt space VR at one of my worlds and I'm just gonna pop open a mirror right here so let's turn on edit mode editorial panel, featured, kits, camera kit, mirror. So that's gonna pop open a mirror. I'm just gonna rotate it. I'll make it bigger. Okay, here we go. So now we've got a mirror. The next thing I want to do is 
So the next thing we're going to do is bring in our Helmets MRE. And the way we do that is we just go to Basics, SDK, SDK app, and then we just paste the URL in here. Just like that, hit confirm, and voila. There goes our MRE. Now, I'm just going to bring this down here. And in fact, I'm going to make the size of this much smaller so that it's out the way. And so now that we have this right here, we can easily put a shirt on. So I'll just click one. Here we go. If I want to wear the black one, that's the black one. So essentially, that's all you're doing when it comes to the helmets MRE. Now, if you want to like not have all these buttons right here. You can pass different parameters, like um, you can pass, uh, you know, controls equal men to hide all the, except the unattached button, etc. You can, you know, the, um, the menu position options, if you pass these menu position options, you can make it bigger or smaller on the menu and push them apart from each other and all that sort of stuff. I'll show how to do that stuff if you want, um, but basically this is all you do in order to get them in there. And you would attach, you can attach the wrist, you can attach the neck, etc., etc. Um, so for example, I have a uh, necklace in here. So this is my tester world. But you can see back here, I've got a necklace. If I put this necklace on, now let's go back here and look in the mirror. And so this is also using, and so now you can see I've got this necklace on. So ask any questions. Essentially, that's all you have to do. Um, let me know what parts of this you're struggling with and I'll respond with a um, like the steps showing that. But this is all you do and it's the same thing. So this works for a hat, a necklace, shirt, dress, whatever, you name it.